what? Here we are on the boat. Go on, way on. Just pulled up. Wasn't going to dive today, but the water looks amazing. Cracking day. So we're going to head out. Heard a few rumors of a couple small five kilo doggies getting around and some wahoo and Spanish. So the season has officially started here and fingers crossed we're tucking into a few. Very keen. The water is just next level right now. Look at the day on it. They navigate these little reef passes is insane. Like this is barely even a reef pass. Tiniest little dip in the reef and they're straight out there. Oh, it is looking blue as blue can be. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> amazing, absolutely amazing. Look at it. You're kidding. Please just let there be fish. I'm going to start suiting up and tuck into them. Ow! Oh, there's these conditions. This is insane. So good. Good current, clear water. I can already see bait. You see that? I reckon it's game on. Big Spanish would be nice. Big fish coming up. Basa, you can? Yeah. Huh? Basa, basa. Middle of the day, absolute glass. Couldn't let it go to waste. All right, let's get in the drink. See who's underwater. Woohoo! Right, jumped in and there is bait everywhere. It's looking good, looking nice and clear from up on the surface, but um, there was a bit of a thermocline. It was pretty cold and green once you got below that 10 meter mark. But Komung dropped straight down onto a nice GT. It was a good start, pretty stoked. Now it's my turn. Find the bait, slowly drop down, trying to kick the least amount as possible. Slowly just dropping. You see that thermocline there where it just goes green and cold. I line this fish up and bang. No idea what happened. I must have just skimmed his face, but anyway, he swam off. No harm done. Little GT, a school of them. I, I hit him. Komung has found the doggies. He's dropped down. He's got a good shot on one. Normally, when you shoot one, they'll all hang around. So I waste no time. He gives me the okay, and off I go. Bomb down, have a look around, and... Lucky day. Swam straight underneath the fish, and I managed to get a good holding shot. These things just scream. 
It's crazy. So this is only a small dog tooth tuna. They get huge. This one went six kilos and it absolutely screamed. It took so much line off my reel. Luckily I had the float on. I was able to just to let go. Uh, you can see why people lose all their gear. Floats, guns, everything gone. A 20 kilo dog tooth tuna would just be absolutely insane. It would be so powerful and I can't believe there's people out there shooting 50, 60 plus kilo doggies. It just, it absolutely blows my mind. This guy just had a good feed of squid. Fresh baby squid all coming out of his mouth. I put him to sleep as quick as possible. And then I'll just bleed him to preserve the meat. Very stoked with this fish. It's not big, but it's a good start. <laughs> Straight back into it. We've put Koman's doggy that he's shot onto a weight and we're using it as a flasher. It's pretty effective with the bigger dogs to bring them up out of the depths. And on cue, here comes a good looking dog. I would guess around 20 kilos. I'm within range here. I had a tail shot on him. I should have taken it. I thought I would wait, be patient, and he would come around and go broadside. But I got a little bit confident and I swam towards him too much. And one kick and I'll see you later. We got the dogs. They're not monsters, but I'm pretty stoked. I'm, oh, I missed a really good one. Well, I didn't miss, but I, I didn't take the shot. I, I hesitated. But look at this guy. Oh, he's pretty good. Oh, on your fish, ready? You got that? <laughs> and that? Yes. Woo yeah! Couple good looking specimens. They'll go good on the barbecue. Oh yeah. Yew. Good day. Thank ah. you, Captain. Thank you, Command. Yes. Amazing. Got the dog. Not a monster, but pretty stoked. We're going to drop it off in the restaurant and see what they can whip up. Here. Yeah. Doggy. Oh. What? Yeah? Look, grill? Hmm? How do you cook? However you want. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. I'm gonna weigh it. Okay, no matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Boy, the bill is only one kilo. Oh. More than no, five? No, 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 no. No, enough until five kilo, yeah, there. Oh, yeah. More than five? 
four. Whoa. Maybe maybe six kilo? Yeah, That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Good six start. <laughs> one I've seen, maybe 20 kilo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This guy's. Oh, the big one. All right, I'm gonna go crack a beer while the boys get stuck into it. <laughs> Actually, we might watch them cut it up, yeah? Put a spear gun, yeah? Spear gun. <laughs> Maybe one hour ago, still swimming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah sir, the grudge, yeah. Oh. Whoa, very sharp knife. Uh -huh. Okay, we're gonna leave them with it. Yeah. We're gonna go enjoy your beer and I'll we'll see you soon. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. And Naxa yeah. Kali. Enjoy. Look at this. Fresh doggy. Fresh doggy. Swimming around an hour ago. We've got some grilled and we've got some steamed with some mixed veggies on top. A bit of rice, or a bit of nasi, a bit of sambal, and this chili pickled onion. How good. Like I, I dropped that fish off 20 minutes ago. They are insane. I've let them keep the rest. They're all in there feasting on it, so they're pretty stoked. But not as stoked as us, hey? Thank you. How good's this? This is living. Anyway, we're going to tuck into it and um, see you on the next adventure. Bigger doggies coming. Watch this channel. Yeah.